Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be giving you a few tips to extend and improve your battery life on your Nexus 6. Now even though I specified the Nexus 6, these tips should work on a large number of devices, especially Android 5.0 and higher. Now some of these tips might seem kind of simple to some of you, but I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and compile a list of things I did to my Nexus 6 when I first got it to improve battery life and this is pretty much something I do to all my devices when I get them. Uh, so anyway, with Without further ado, let's go ahead and get talking about these tips. Now the first tip is going to take us to the settings and many of these tips are, but you're basically gonna go into Wi-Fi and then you're gonna hit the little settings button up there and go to advanced and make sure you turn off scanning always available. Now this is supposed to work to improve your ac uh, location accuracy on your device, uh, allowing it to search for nearby Wi-Fi even if you have Wi-Fi off but I found it to be a huge battery drain and I don't really need it uh, for my uh, commute. So I always turn it off and notice a huge battery improvement when I do that. So the next tip is to basically just turn off all the vibration haptic feedback in the settings. So if you're an Android 5.0 or higher, as you saw, you can go into other sounds and turn off vibrate on touch, which is going to turn off the vibration feedback for the dialer, as well as those buttons down there at the bottom you see me pressing. Now the next area to turn this off in is the keyboard. So you just go ahead and open the language and input, go into your keyboard, go into to preferences and then turn off vibrate on key press. Now these two things may be really small but less vibrating on your phone means less times that the motor is active which means less power and overall more battery life for you. Now the next tip is to turn down your brightness pretty much as far as you can go without completely degrading your viewing experience. Now your display is pretty much the number one user of your battery. So the higher the brightness, the more battery life it's going to consume. So if you can get it down pretty low, that would be great and uh, it would definitely save you some battery life. Now also in the display settings is the sleep timeout mode. So having your sleep timeout set to a smaller amount of time, say one minute or below, means that it's going to turn off quicker if you don't hit the lock button and you just leave it sitting there. So I typically leave mine on two minutes uh, or less. So something like that would be pretty good. But I mean, if you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you just have your phone sitting there, it's definitely gonna have the phone display on for 10 minutes, uh, even if you're not doing anything. So that's going to use it more battery life. So having it set to a quicker timeout mode would be awesome. Now the next tip is to go into the location settings and change that accuracy mode from high accuracy, which I believe is the default, down to battery saving. Now high accuracy is good if you need that precise location, you need that GPS to be on along with your network to find your location. But if you don't and you don't commute a lot, battery saving should be just fine so that it only activates the network whenever it needs your location rather than activating both the network and the GPS. Now this next tip I found to be a huge battery saving. Now, if you go into your account, specifically your Google account on your device, and you uncheck things that you don't even use that are syncing in the background, you're going to notice a tremendous improvement in your battery life. So something like, say, news and weather that is on by default, all of these are on by default. Uh, but if that's on by default and you don't turn it off, it's going to constantly sync the news and weather app in the background, and you might not even use news and weather. So it's kind of a waste. Same thing with Drive and Docs. Those things can be refreshed manually, so I always leave those unchecked. Now, some something like Chrome or Contacts or Gmail where I, I always want that to be synced. I leave those on, of course. But there's a lot of things in here that I'm sure you could turn off or uh, just go with manually refreshing and you'd be fine. So if you could do that, that would also save some battery life. Now, if you've got an app that you can change the refresh rate of, like say maybe a Twitter app, I would definitely recommend going with a higher interval unless you need to get those new tweets every five seconds or something. Uh, I would definitely recommend, you know, maybe an hour, 30 minutes or higher. Uh, or if you've got something like smart interactions refresh that would also be good here falcon pro 3 does have that but on something like pocket where it doesn't really have that i usually just go with once a day and then if i need to open it and have it refresh i just pull down to refresh and that works just fine so find that nice medium but definitely push the limits as far as refresh intervals go and you'll see some nice battery life improvement now the last tip involves the photos application. So if Google Plus is the way that you back up your photos, uh, I would recommend going into the settings, the auto backup settings specifically, and making sure it only backs up your photos if you're on Wi-Fi and on a charger. Now by default, I believe it's set to uh, over Wi-Fi or mobile network, and the uh, only when it's on a charger is unchecked, which can consume quite a bit of battery life considering if you don't have a great coverage or you're not on a fast network, it can take a while to upload your photos 
goes over the network uh, and that can just be horrible on battery life. So make sure it's set to only Wi-Fi and when it's on a charger and you should have no problem there. So that's pretty much it. Those are my tips on how I save battery life. If you guys have some tips of your own that you'd like to share, be sure to leave a comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. That's pretty much going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.